Hey, I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee, and you're watching Open, the live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media, BronxNet TV. Leading things off, the beginning of fall also kicks off Falls Prevention Week. And our first guest is from Visiting Nurse Service of New York. <laughs> Join us for more information about this. We have uh, our partners in healthcare and re rehabilitation instructor, Sonia Rappaport. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Of course, much. you're no stranger to the show. No, I have been here once or twice before. You're Thank a you for having me. Professional, yeah. Could you're a veteran. That. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Great to be here. Again. So what do we have around this time? This, today's the first day of fall. Yes. And we have Fall Prevention Awareness Week. Yes. Well, we have to bring attention to the importance of falls and preventing falls, especially in our senior population, yeah. because it is actually the largest cause of injuries and death among people 65 years old and up. One out of three people 65 years old and up get injured by a fall. And it gets worse as you get older. And this is falling just going to and from or in a household? It could, well, actually, 70% of the falls that create injuries do happen at home. So we're here to prevent that and raise the awareness. And that's why Visiting Nurse Service of New York and yeah. Partners in Care educates a lot of people on how to prevent the falls. And you guys do such a great job. We thank you for your service. Thank you. We, yeah. we love keeping people safe. Yeah. Now, it starts at, you said, ages 65 and 65 up? 65 and up is where you see more of an increase because at that time, people, not everyone, uh, can get a lot less active. And staying active is what really keeps you strong and prevents the falls. So if you're hanging around your house and being too much of a couch potato, you are more at risk for falls. Yeah, not using those muscles that you used to use. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And the more, and if you don't use it, you do lose it. So we at Partners in Care and VNSNY promote exercise. We have a new program actually that we just rolled out called BEEP. It's a balance enhancement exercise program oh. because some people that get home care do not qualify or get a physical therapist to come to their home. Oh. So we have trained nurses and home health aides to support an exercise program that will be found in more seniors' homes all over the uh, boroughs. My father always said to my mom, uh, keep moving, honey. You know, he was right. Moving. He's yeah. absolutely right. Uh, he that lived is to be the... 97 years old. Wow. Yeah. Uh, mom's still alive, but, the, you know. So but that, the, mm -hmm. there's something that happens where it throws you off balance. Is, is there some sort of thing that happens at age 65 or when well, you no, reach there's age not, 65? Well, there's or not really. Is it medications or? Oh, well, you do have to be careful of the medications and talk to your provider, your health care provider. If you do get dizzy at particular times, sometimes they can spread out the medications, change them. Some yeah. in a combination don't work well together. Yeah, sometimes they're not compatible. Yeah. So you really want to report any falls. It may be nothing, but it may be something and it could be preventable. You also want to keep your apartment or home free of clutter, wires from the floor, yeah. uh, good lighting. As you get older, you need more lighting as well. And some people are so good at it with the clutter and everything. They know where everything is, and they don't need to go anywhere else because there's a little path. You ever it's, see some of those TV shows? Where oh, <laughs> yes, the hoarding. Yeah, the that's hoarders. a very sad situation, and I've seen it even in home care. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys come up on a, yeah. Oh, we okay. see. We, it's you a whole it all. new world. Yes, yeah, so it could be a new TV show. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be. Uh, yes. But you can add some help to it. You know, yes, you we definitely uh, could. We have helped. We have ways to help people declutter their homes mm -hmm. and have professionals help them come in. Hey, and Ralph, make bring it, in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> make it a, in a, oh. a safer environment. Yeah. Because yeah. people want to stay home. It's great to age in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we are creating the awareness around this time. And this yes. is a perfect time for it. It really is a perfect time. So if you have elderly relatives or neighbors, mm -hmm. you could check in on them, make sure they are safe. If you notice things, you can have them talk to their doctor and mm -hmm. refer to us for a, even a home care visit. Our home health aides are even pros at making an apartment mm -hmm. safer. Yeah. Are there some things in place where, I mean, we can go to websites, uh, is, are there TV commercials, are there... Oh, Are sure. going out to neighborhoods and... Sure, we're there. Just check us out at vnsny.org and 
we will mm -hmm. help you. Yeah. What are some tips that you can give uh, for people to keep, to keep things kind of clear? Oh, okay. Well, of course, get rid of the clutter, as we said. Don't save all the magazines that you're never going to read. Magazines. Certainly. Ah. <laughs> Not on newspapers. the floor. Newspapers. Remember the magazines and newspapers all over the place? Exactly. Or you see it even in subway stations. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Newspaper nobody wants, leaves it on the stairs, and boom. We don't want patients like that. So we'd rather people keep safe. Throw your banana also, peels in the garbage. Th that, that's a good place for them. Yeah. Uh, also, if you people need a walker or cane, make sure it's the right uh, one. Yeah. So you w might want a PT to check it out, your doctor. Has to be the right height and everything. Right height, yeah. right stability, the right device for you. Some people need a walker with wheels, some don't. So you can't just use your neighbor's old one in the closet. Every person is really an individual that has their own needs to stay safe. Yeah, yeah. So you've been doing this for some time. Yes, it's my and 40th year of being a physical therapist. Oh, so I'm pretty congratulations. Excited. Thank you very much. Hey, bring out the uh, the cake and all that yeah, stuff. Where, where, Everybody champagne? give her a big round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Thank you, you can, very much. You can continue it from here. When you, when you go back to the job, you know, let them continue. I hope so. Help okay. her to celebrate, okay? That's a milestone right there. Yeah, please, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, what's the website again? Uh, what is it? Well, VNSNY.org or mm. call... 1-800-675-0391. Thank you so much, and thank you for your service, Sonia. Thank you very Sonia much. Sonia Rappaport, VNSNY, Partners in Care Rehabilitation Instructor, Visiting Nurse Service of New York. Got thank that you so right. Much. Thank you very much. We love you. We, th we love Thanks all the things that you do, too. Thank we'll you. We'll take a quick break right here. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Open Next.